He's a beast in the division. He's that dark horse of the division. He's the one everybody sleeps on. But you can't do that because you'll get put to sleep. Excuse me, and I'm paraphrasing Israel Adesanya on Jared Cannonier. What's up, y'all? What's going on, OMB? Yo. <clears throat> Be straight up with you. Y'all gotta excuse my air condition, but if I open up these windows, it's gonna get hot in here pretty darn fast. But anyway, could turn it down just a little bit there. But anyway, uh, who have you, any very many people, Israel Adesanya gives props to who ain't in his camp? You know what I'm saying? Or ain't even his countrymen. If he's somebody he gonna fight, I don't remember him giving respect like he gave to like 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 he gave the Jerry Cannonier on that day of that interview. B, you know what I'm saying? That's telling y'all that Jerry Cannonier ain't nothing to be played with. And I'm paraphrasing again, but he was like, "Yo, look, he is second to only one person in that division, and that's Israel Adesanya himself." He said, "That's it. So everybody else, psh, forget it." Now I'm gonna tell you the truth. I heard him talking, and I didn't notice, but he said when he went up to them weights, Jerry Cannonier said when he went up to the mother weight classes, he said he wasn't big enough for them. You know what I'm saying? He said a lot of them dudes was bigger than him, and a lot of them still are. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all the weight stuff, he said he, they was always bigger than him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know... I. <laughs> I just tell you what kind of strength and, and, and you know what I'm saying, what kind of thinking this dude got, cause you and what kind of skill he got to be taking on bigger dudes like that, man. Yo, I mean, come on, B. And then you go back to your regular butt. I think that's gonna be a real, really, really good fight between Israel Adesanya and Jared Cannonier, y'all. That's gonna be a damn good fight. I am going to be glued. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I got to be, and I've been finding ways to stay up. We haven't much, nothing really been going on, y'all. You know I mean, it's like crazy. When there wasn't places to have these fights and the pandemic was like you know, it was like a year later and they still was talking about problems, finding places to fight. Then finally, we had this good, good, good run of fights, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might not have been the greatest fights, but look, we was able to watch some fights. Now, hardly anything, man. It's like, yo, I'm like, damn, man, you know, and then I don't want to look at the leagues that's way, way, way down there. You know what I'm saying? So, this is Rod Asanya and, and, and Jerry Cannonier. When it do come, the excitement's high. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't, ain't been getting nothing all this time. So it's like, yo, I'm ready for that, B, you know? And, and man, I mean, not exactly nothing, but not that much. We haven't been getting that much. You know, so, you know, I'm looking forward to that fight, man. And that Anthony Joshua against Oleg, Alexander Usyk. So, you know, I just want to see Usyk toy with him again. But anyway, OMB signing out. Peace.